can tell I've got a little bit of a lighting setup going on. First time that's happened in a little while. Alright, so I've got the first signs of a cold coming on, so if this vlog doesn't sound the best, uh, or I don't think the best like just then, um, yeah, blame the cold and not me because it's really affecting my left ear and this side of my face. This side's alright, but this side's not, so yeah, don't blame me if I don't sound right in this vlog. I'm just reminding you, you have a punishment uh, for um, next Saturday. I'm making it next Saturday. Um, to watch Fifty Shades of Grey and review it and every time I say a bad point have a bean boozled so yeah that's your punishment. Alright today's been a bit of a uh, on off day I mean as you remember last week I said I got an um, offer from Winchester University and I still went on to other universities to get back to me but unfortunately uh, Bournemouth I had the interview for and again just like Norwich I'm like this time I got back to you sooner they turn me down, but the thing is, is that this time I honestly don't think the fault lies with me. I think it's just because they only accept 18% of applicants. Um, yeah, there's not really a lot of hope in that regard, especially when they wanted me to have an artistic subject in my GCSEs, which I couldn't help because how was I meant to know in year 9 I'd want to do film? Uh, yeah, if you ask me, myself, when I was in year 9, if I thought I'd be where I am now, um, I wouldn't have believed you. Um, so, yeah, actually, that is beyond a bit of a tangent, uh, Matt, because I just realised my question to you is, if you revert back to yourself before you took your GCSEs, and off, ask yourself where you'd be in five years' time, do you think you would thought you would be where you are at now? I worded that so horribly, didn't I? Do you think, if you asked yourself five years in the past where you would be nowadays, they would believe you? Or you would believe yourself? So yeah, that's uh, where I thought, and I don't know how I got on this tangent, but yeah, the fault wasn't with me for not getting on the course. Um, but yeah, I've got, I've got three other choices at least. Three other choices. And one of them's already got me an offer. Um, and yeah, also they got the same qualification, all of them, BA ons, and... Um, all of them are film production, and if anything, I'm probably going to do better at these courses because they don't. Um, none of the students on there will be. Okay, maybe. Um, uh, what's the word for it? I'm trying to think of a word that may doesn't make me sound amazing, like amazingly boastful, but um, the other courses will be a little bit. Um, not. Oh, I can't think of the word right now. Yeah, as you can tell, I've got a cold. I can't think of what I want to say right now. Right. The courses that I've applied to don't have as high demand, so the people on the course I am more likely to stand out in than if I was a, a course that only accepted 18% of applicants. Matt, you know those moods you're in where you just film something and you just do not like it? This is what's happening right now. For some reason, I am not liking this way this vlog's turning out. Uh, so, yeah, I'll promise Sunday will be better. Right, in answer to your question, Matt, I've done my occasional run when I was younger. I did the High Down Dash one year, and I did a comic relief um, run at um, Prospect Park um, with my family. And, um, yeah, uh, there's also the... My primary school used to hold a fun run, which is the same thing. Um, never really com competitive... Com competitive competitive com I can't speak right now uh, what's the word for there's never any competitiveness in these competitions um, yeah it's all charity based and yeah but other than that I'm not really done a lot of charity based work and I'm sorry to say but maybe the charities have helped out me more than I've helped out the charities yeah as a lot of you who know me personally know uh, when I was very very young, I was burned on like, I think it was 16% of my body, um, so yeah, you can still see signs of that now, well, actually, very vi visibly see signs of that now, I mean, 
this is my right arm, can you see like where it's got a bit of scarring on it? Yeah, so Charity's helped me out then, um, in ways I can't remember but I know it did. And then three years ago I had a tumour removed from my nose and I've always had a problem with my hearing. And I had a hearing aid for about six months. Um, yeah, Charity's have probably helped me out more than I've helped out them. Yeah man, I'm, thanks for reminding me about the um, your page because I am going to probably donate a little bit tomorrow or ever, whenever I'm free. Um, don't know what's a sensible amount. I don't want to donate too little so I look like a um, Scrooge. I don't want to donate too much so that it will just give everyone around you a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, good luck with that. Right, so Matt, uh, you do remember that I said on Sunday that I was going out with college friends. Um, good news and bad news. Good news is, uh, no, the bad news is not all of us showed up, so we couldn't really go to the pub. But the good news is we went to see Rings at the cinema. Unfortunately, another bit of bad news, I'd already had quite a bit to drink beforehand. So... This is going to be a really bad review because I can't really remember the movie I watched. Okay, Matt, let me just get a show. I did watch um, Fatal Attraction and I do have a couple movies in line for reviewing, but they all fall into the okay pile with not a lot to say about them other than what I would usually say about any movie. Um, I mean, the movie reviews I think are good are big movies that I have great opinions of or bad opinions of and yeah Fatal Attraction is another one of those okay movies um, that I can't say a lot about especially for you The Rings or about the one scene I can remember from it okay so just to give you a little bit of context I uh, I'm easily drunk I'm, yeah I'll, I'll happily admit that I am easily drunk like I can have about two pints before I yeah, I mean I can control the way I walk, but I can't necessarily control my memory or what I um, say. So before I watched the movie, I had had, I think, two and a half pints. And I drank a bit more in the movie. So, yeah, the only scene I can remember from it entirely is there's a scene in an airplane where the airplane's sort of crashing and... Yeah, it seems a bit out of nowhere, the horror in it, and, okay, this is going to be my one minute of challenging myself to remember what happened in Rings. Honestly, I can remember more from the reviews of the movie than I can of the movie itself. And, to tell you the truth, even when I'm drunk, that's not a good sign. Alright, this isn't so much a review, Matt, just a bit of advice. If you want to review a movie... Don't drink a lot before seeing it. Not that I want to remember Rings a lot anyway, considering the fact that it's got a four and a half on IMDb. Jeremy Johns gave it only good time if you're drunk rating. And every other review sees the point is absolute crap. So, I mean, I can't remember anything from it. And one of the things I look for in a movie is memorability. And I can only remember a bad scene from the beginning of the movie and the end credits. So... Overall, it's not even watchable with plenty of shots of vodka, so I basically got to say I'd mount his head on a spike. It's still one written below that because I probably had the equivalent of a few shots of vodka beforehand and I don't remember a thing about it, so I didn't like it. So, end of story, I'd mount his head, direct his head on a spike. Alright, I'll probably, this has been the worst vlog I've done for ages. Uh, but I did kind of forget it was my vlog until quite late, as you mm, won't be able to see. It's 20 to 11, so I need to get editing now. So Matt, see you on Sunday.